Welcome back everyone. So I just wanted to show you these dry starting off. Just so you can see that interference violet where I was pointing it out last time, it is showing up. I still have to wait a few days before I can clean these and then apply a clear coat. But and then here's the ring pour. And it definitely dried a lot fluffier than I expected. So most of the white sank completely from the cloud. And then all the pearl that I did, used is what we see here. The pearl that Mio did, it stayed afloat. This came out really, really soft, really pretty. So I'm happy with the way that. And then I asked you guys a question and I wanted to know what I should do next. And the fall flip and drag on a diptych was the most popular vote. So that is what we are going to do today. Alright, so as you can see, I already have everything set up. I have our colors, which we'll go through in a second, and our little 3 inch by 9 inch panels that I got from Christina that we are going to be using today. And this is a needable eraser. And what I like to do, since we are going to do a flip and drag on here, we need a way to seal the two right across. You want to get it pretty thin. All right, so about there. I'm going to pull it apart just enough, and we're going to come in right along this top part, press it down, and we join them like so. Make sure they're lined up, and then you can apply a pressure across like so, and it creates a seal between them. And I'm going to keep a little bit on the end so that will allow us to pull them apart after. But as far as doing a quick seal across, needleball erasers work amazing. So let's jump into to the colors. We're going to start off with the Military Green Shimmer from Christina's Parage Posse Paint. Our second Parage Posse Paint is going to be the Dark Chocolate Shimmer. It's beautiful brown, chestnut brown. We have Lucas Krill Gold. Soho's Yellow Ochre. Lucas Krill Copper. Lucas, Col Lucas Krill Gold Bronze. The Color Shifts Raspberry Flash. Raspberries always make me think of the fall anyway. It's a perfect time when they're ripe and you can take them off the vine. I have a little bit of the Master's Touch Permanent Black that we'll be adding. And just a smidge of Christina's Milk Paint Base. And lastly, we're going to have the Lucas Krill Silver Bronze for a little bit of a lighter color and to help blend both the, the white to the rest of the colors. It'll be a nice warm bridge. As far as our base today, I think I'm going to be going with this Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Van Dyke Red. It's a very brick red. And I think all these brighter colors are going to look great, especially once we apply them on there and kind of fan them out. Or the other option I was thinking is doing the Lucas Krill Silver Bronze. And then fanning out the colors. Oh, hard decision. <laughs> now I'm going to be staring at this for a minute. Actually, I have an idea. So we're going to do half and half. I'm going to do the top half in the silver bronze and the bottom half in the Van Dyke red. So let me get the two colors down for our base and then we'll get our cup and start filling it up and get ready to do our flip and drag. All right, so I'm back. We have our Van Dyke red and our silver bronze split on our canvas. Everything is set. They are starting to play a little bit together when I was tilting and I tried to keep it, but it's fine because we're going to do a little cup straight across with our colors. 
So let me throw this into a time lapse real quick and I'll fill up the cup and I'll be right back. I tried to give away all I had My mind was full of my, my mistakes I've been too fragile through my life And I'm missing you so bad Don't know if I should call you back You know it's getting dark inside my head I feel there's something that is stopping me now All right, so I'm leaving this area right now because I want to come in with a paintbrush or some kind of something. And I got this idea to do like tree silhouettes coming up here, but I want to separate it first, let it fall over the edges, and then come back and do like foresty tree silhouettes. Gonna let that flow over the edge. And this is definitely one that I want to come back and do maybe some gold leafing, maybe do like gold lined leaf shapes on it, maybe a little bit bigger. But I want to add more of a gold leafing to this afterwards. For now, Right. Let me come up and see if we can't make some Daddy, feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh. And I try to forget all what I had, but is my mind really gonna cut you out? Feel like no prayers are gonna have myself. No, don't know if I 
you blow your back You know it's getting dark inside my head I feel there's something that is stopping me now oh. So when this dries, this is definitely going to be something that I can come back in and clean up and embellish it a little bit more, make it look a little bit more like those tree silhouettes, but at least I have a shape. These are going to change overnight as this dries and everything settles, so I'm not too worried about it, but I do like the flow of it. I like this kind of wispiness. I'm going to hit this area one more time with the air gun and try to wisp some of this out, and after that, I think we'll be done. Feel there's something that is. Feel there's something that is. Feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh. But, all in all, we did a fall colored. Flip and drag, dip dick. I'm going to be doing the silhouettes when this is dry and then coming in and adding some gold leafing, maybe even doing a line of gold leafing up and around without PBO GDO and maybe accenting one of the trees with gold and then added some gold lined, gold line art with some fall leaves. But till then, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The next one I will be doing is the chakra colors in request of Artistically Random, she's another YouTuber on here. He suggested doing the chakra colors with the cellophane lift, so that should be fun. I just gotta find what canvases I'm gonna use for that. But till then, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be revisiting this one in about a week or so when this is fully dry, and continue on for there. But I'll see you then. Bye!